here we are friends you know I thought about just not even posting a video for keto this week because I totally went off the bandwagon hi friends welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber thanks for coming back time for a keto update and y'all this week was a doozy it was a doozy because um as you can probably still hear in my voice, I got sick this week and I really, really didn't feel good on Sunday and the whole day just went to the wayside. You know, I honestly wanted to throw this whole week away following, um, but you know, I said, you know what, I owe it to myself, I owe it to you all to really, truly um, film what I'm eating because I've been cracking with these Girl Scout cookies, okay? But anyway, um, that's enough of me yapping. If you're new here, what I do is I share every single meal that I eat for the week, and then I show before and after pictures in my bikini. And then I just share how I'm feeling, because ultimately, my number one thing is I want to feel good. So, um, yeah, so that's what I do. So go ahead and watch what I ate, and then we'll chat after it's done. Happy Monday, my friends. So I'm making my smoothie this morning. I did not eat my smoothie all weekend, I don't think. I can't remember. But... I just want to say that I love adding the chia seeds. This has been such a great addition. It keeps me full so much longer. I really like it. I just add one tablespoon, but I really, really like it um, so far. So let me go ahead and make my smoothie and get my Bulletproof coffee ready. Okay, I'm making my Bulletproof coffee. I still am enjoying this MC2 tea oil that I got from Costco. What I love most about it is the squirt top bottle, whereas the other bottle just had a regular hole and it would just pour out. Um, a lot of it at times but I really like this and then also I'm fresh out of sweet leaf drops I get this off of Amazon I'm um, plus if you don't have MCT oil at your local Costco you can order it off of Amazon too it's all linked to my Amazon store in the description box but uh, the sweet leaf drops they weren't available they weren't available until like a week later and Amazon was just like tripping Amazon was tripping so when I went to Trader Joe's I found these so I'm gonna give these a try. I don't think I like them as much as the sweet leaf drops. It kind of has an aftertaste to it, and I don't like the aftertaste. But I bought, but I bought two of these, so it's like, ugh. these are a lot cheaper though. They're only $6.99, where this is like $12 or $13 on Amazon. But I'm just gonna use it because hey, I bought it. I just probably won't need to use as much. So now I'm just gonna add, like I said, the sweet, the stevia, liquid stevia, the MCT oil, and some coconut milk to my coffee. Lunch. I forgot to film. I had 10 lemon pepper wings and a set plate. Just made hubby's plate and this is my plate. So if you'd like to see how I made all this from last night in my Sunday setup video, you can tap this eye right here. Good morning, friends. I have my happy Tuesday. Got my bulletproof coffee here and my smoothie with the chia seeds in it. I love it. I will never go back to not putting chia seeds in my smoothie. I absolutely love it and I can definitely feel the benefits of it. So I'm going, that is definitely going to be a staple that I'm going to continue to put in my staple, in my smoothie going forward. Honestly, after last week, um, I gained, and I think a little bit of that is the menstrual, like I talked about last week, I'm about to come. Um, I honestly don't want to eat as much. Like yesterday, after I had those wings and the salad, I had 10 lemon pepper wings and a small side salad. I wasn't hungry. Like I honestly did not want to eat dinner, um, but... I ate dinner because it's like family time and we talk and I don't want my kids to see me eat. I don't want them to think like, you know, anything. It, it starts really young with that kind of stuff, you know? So I forced myself to eat and then I felt really stuffed, super bloated, like just stuffed. Like I just ate a huge gluttonous meal and I really didn't even eat that much. You saw it yesterday. So um, I need to figure out what I need to do for that. Um, I think my body's ready to do some more intermittent fasting, maybe just eating one meal a day with my smoothie and my Bulletproof coffee, and that's it. I just don't know how I'm gonna fit that in with my schedule and with us eating dinner as a family. You know, we don't eat dinner like that every night as a family because sometimes we have, um, you know, different extracurricular activities that where um, we can't just sit down and eat like that, um, but, I don't know. I gotta figure it out and see how I'm gonna fit that into my schedule. This is gonna be my lunch today. I just have a little bit of the chicken left. There's two small chicken strips left. The mushroom cream gravy that I made and a little bit of green beans left. So that is what I'm gonna have for lunch today. 
just now getting home. We're gonna have dinner at my mom's and I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna have one of these. Let me show you what it looks like. I can tell I'm getting ready to menstruate because I'm craving chocolate. I'm, I'm secretly whispering it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now. Dinner tonight at my mom's and yes, I'm eating a piece of bread. And those are zucchini noodles underneath. Happy Wednesday. I have a little bit of smoothie left in here because I didn't hardly have any um, coconut milk left. Not coconut milk, spinach, and have hardly any spinach left. And I just made my bulletproof coffee, and this is the normal chia seed, strawberry, and coconut milk unsweetened. And here is my bulletproof coffee. Lunch today is leftover from my mom's, which is zucchini and carrot noodles, uh, marinara sauce, and meat and turkey meatballs. So I'm leaving my daughter's school and I ate that entire muffin. The entire muffin I ate and I feel really bad. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. It was one muffin, probably a million carbs, but it is what it is. I'm gonna continue to push on and still try to do clean keto for the rest of the week. Happy Valentine's Day, friends. Happy Thursday. I am running late this AM. I um Okay, so you're probably thinking, what did I have for dinner last night? We had Girl Scouts last night, so I literally had a Quest Bar. I got weak in the flesh. You saw what I ate at the Muffins with Moms. I ate that entire muffin. Then, someone at my job was giving away these chocolate bars with caramel, and I got weak in the flesh, and I like broke off one little section of it when I got home and ate that, and then I had the Quest Bar, and then that was it. That's all I had for dinner. Not the healthiest dinner, but... Okay, so this morning I got my smoothie with chia seeds, spinach, and strawberries, and coconut milk. I got my bulletproof coffee. I don't have anything for lunch, so I'm gonna have to pick something up. Wings for lunch and a salad. Hey guys, so I'm not feeling too well tonight. This is literally all I want. Um, I started menstruating today, and I had another little piece of this. I just couldn't help it when I got home from work today. <sighs> so yeah, I think I'm coming down with something it's coming down with a little bit of a cold so i'm gonna get to bed early tonight get some rest and hopefully feel better in the morning happy friday friends the only thing i had so far today was some bulletproof coffee and now i'm about to eat my lunch hey guys <clears throat> i'm not too feeling too hot but we made our pizzas tonight for dinner i made it the chicken crust pizza and i did something different with it this time i'll let you know how it is um if i like it or not after i eat it Bulletproof coffee time and I'm fresh out of whipped cream. And I was really looking forward to it. So what I did is I just put some MCT oil in there, the stevia drops that I got from Trader Joe's, and some heavy whipping cream. It's lunchtime and now I'm eating the rest of my pizza because we have a pretty busy afternoon. The chicken crust is okay. It still doesn't taste as good as the cheese crust. I added some cheddar cheese and some mozzarella cheese and almond flour to the chicken crust recipe. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And that helped and I added more seasoning, but it's still less carbs than the all cheese crust, you know? And it's good enough for me, so this is what I'm eating for lunch today. Dinner tonight, I cannot wait to tear this up. I'm so hungry. So here's what I'm taking upstairs with Gia. I have some pancakes, uh, sausage, and hash brown. Uh, I'm gonna see if she wants some eggs and I'll probably take those up with uh, after I finish cooking my stuff. Uh, but hopefully this gives her a boost of energy and she feels a lot better because she, she's the engine in this family. She makes everything go, so. Look at this wonderful, sorry it looks so yellow, it's the light in here. Perfect coffee, my husband. He put a little extra whipped cream on there, he said, because I'm sick, I deserve it. He's right. <laughs> I cannot wait to drink this. It looks so delicious. Thanks, babe. But it's dinner time now. We have like a hodgepodge for dinner. We have Chinese food for me. The kids have Bojangles. And I'm about to just eat this, try to eat some wonton soup and get back to normal. So Sunday was like tough, y'all. I mean, I just was not, I felt a full blown cold. I was trying to stop it. I was taking my emergency and elderberry syrup and everything, but it ended up just being a full blown, blown cold. Um, that has lasted for over a week. My kids um, only had like the sniffles for a couple of days and my husband is fine, thankfully. Knock on wood. <laughs> but um, 
yeah and i just for some reason i think my immune system was compromised a little bit because i've been working really 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 hard especially on my new course analyze your analytics if you're interested the link is in the description box but if you have like a mommy youtube channel um i'm going to be explaining to you what i did to help my channel grow quite a bit last year and it all has to do with my analytics so i'm um, just teaching you how to analyze it to to make better content essentially so again, if you're interested in that, the link is in the description box. But anyway, so I have been working really hard on that and then I just, I'm tired, you know? So I got a lot of rest. Thankfully, my husband took care of me on Sunday. Um, I didn't do my normal Sunday setup. My husband actually filmed the whole Sunday setup. <laughs> you'll see um, this weekend, um, on this week's Sunday setup, you'll see that. Um, and so I'm still kind of battling this cold. And um, other than that, I like the way I look. Um, I just want to get over this cold. You know what I mean? So I feel like I look the same on my bikini. So take a look. Here we are, friends. You know, I thought about just not even posting a video for keto this week because I totally went off the bandwagon on Sunday. Okay. Well, I was sick and I just, I was eating pineapple and I'm, I'm okay with that. Then it ended up turning into Chinese food and a half a sleeve of Girl Scout cookies, girl. And I can tell a little bit, my stomach is a little bit bloated from that. But it is what it is, we're human. You know, this is gonna happen. And I have to be okay with it. And I am okay with it. I just forgive myself and I move on. I was sick and I wanted to feel better. So I was eating things that I felt like would make me feel better. Um, I really haven't gained like that, like that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I'm just trying to lose like 10 more pounds before spring break, which is in a couple of weeks, to be honest. Well, like a month. And um, I know I could do it because I feel good, though. Like, I feel like I look really good. Like, I'm happy with the way I look. Um, I'm trying not to get obsessed with a number, a specific number. And I've shared this with my channel on my channel before. There's like a specific number in my head that... I want to get to it's like I don't know we'll have to talk about it later in more detail later in the vlog um, or later in the video about why I get so obsessed with it I'm like trying to like pull myself away from being so obsessed with this one number in my head you know especially because I like the way I look naked I like the way I look with, with my bathing suit on I like my fake thigh gap here. Like if I push my butt out, I have like a little fake thigh gap and I really like it because my thighs will never naturally not touch, like ever. <laughs> this is how my, like I have to be like this for my thighs not to touch. This is how wide my feet have to be, you know, without my, for my thighs not to touch, see? But I have like a little fake one if I do the Instagram pose and stick my butt out and lift one leg up like this. It's like, you know, I have a fake bag up and I really like that. <laughs> I'm so weird, y'all. I swear. I cannot be the only weird one who does this, right? <laughs> Anyways, so this is how I look for the week. So I was dreading getting on the scale, like really dreading it because I didn't know what to expect and I don't, I hate taking a blow, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, well, you work so hard. It's like, that's why I try not to put all of my um, energy in a number on the scale because like, and I'm working, this is something that I'm working on right now. It's like, I have this number in my head of what I want to weigh. For some reason, I just, I'm like fixated with this number, even though I like the way I look right now, you know? And I'm trying to like work through that and not be so fixated on a number because like, I know how I look at a certain number. And this number was like before kids. And so like my body isn't gonna look the exact same how it looked before I had my children, you know what I mean? And I'm still accepting that and I know that um, but for some reason I'm just gung-ho on this number and I'm I think I'm just starting to let it go like you know I don't have to be this certain number to feel sexy to feel beautiful if I like the way I look looking in the mirror and I do feel sexy and I do feel beautiful then why does the number even matter you know this is these are the things that I say to myself in my head <laughs> so um yeah I'm working on that but anyway I got on the scale and guess what I didn't lose anything I didn't lose anything and I didn't gain anything. So I'm, I'll take it, especially the way, excuse me, the way I ate on Sunday. Cause like I was eating pineapple, drinking orange juice, all that stuff to kind of make myself feel better. So 
I will take it. This week is another week. Um, this week where I'm filming right now, it's like, I'm still trying to battle this cold girl and these Girl Scout cookies. These Girl Scout cookies are like, it's troubling. It's really troubling. I'm gonna need for my husband to hurry up and eat them all. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. How did you guys do this week? Has it been a, a horrible cold and flu season for you guys? Because it's been horrible for us. The girls have had several colds. This is my first one of the season and I'm just like, oh. Anyway, any kind of home remedies for colds, leave them in the description box. I'll take them. So, um, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above. And you can also check out my previous video right over here in all of my social media platforms, all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.